Ooh, that battery says two bars. Am I gonna press my luck? I'm gonna press my luck. No, I'm not gonna press my luck. I need to change the batteries. What's up, Internet? Current 1776 here. Holy freaking crap. Mission 99, the last double digit mission of BattleBox. Sorry about the bugs that may be flying across the, uh, <laughs> the lens there. It's dark, as you can see outside, and I'm in Georgia. We have bugs. They like to fly and land on you and root down into your skin. But uh, we're going to shoot the video tonight. You want to know why? You want to know why I'm doing it at night? Because my box showed up today. And I was like, cool, you know, I'll shoot the video tomorrow. I looked at it, you know, and got to thinking, I was like, you know what, man, this, this is a great box. Screw it, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna set up some lights. We're gonna do it tonight. We're gonna do it right now. So here we are in the dark on the front porch area, if you will, of my soon to be, hopefully soon to be completed uh, studio shop here. So I'm doing it out here, shooting out into the darkness because, well, it looks better than a bunch of open stud walls. <laughs> so, but I have electricity out here because I'm plugged into an outlet. I got one outlet hooked up. I'm rocking and rolling. So Mission 99, the last double digit box. And next month we're getting into the 100 box. And uh, holy crap, man. 99 months of y'all looking at this mug opening these boxes right here. It's freaking crazy. Absolutely freaking crazy. Uh, and this is a great box. And I'm excited to show it to you. And that's what we're fixing to do right now before I get toted off by the flying bugs. So here we go. Let's not wait any longer. Because I do need to go to bed at some point. I mean, you know. Gotta get some sleep. Let's see what's in the box. All righty, all right, all right, all right, all righty. All righty, all righty, all right. All right. Mission 99, right here we got our mission brief. I gotta say it, as always, just like I say, what's up internet? We got our mission brief right here. Front page has got a little write up from yours truly. We flip the page and we get into the basic box. We're gonna go over the basic, the advanced, the pro, and the pro plus. Friggin' dog won't shut up. So first up in the basic box, we got a really cool item that we've been working on for a bit here, and we're calling it the Battle Box Camping Tripod. Roo, roo, roo. Roo, roo, roo. Roo. How do I say shut up in dog? I ain't doing up pissing it off even more. So we all know that a campfire in camp brings everything full circle. Well, this item right here will help you bring it even tighter of a circle. That doesn't even make sense. I don't know where I was going with that. But what I'm trying to say is, this thing's great for your campfire. And it looks like this right here. Comes in this little plastic bag we're gonna open up. So we got this little pouch right here. Nice sewn up pouch with a brass snap. We got the battle box. Logo right yonder. Open this thing up. We got us a chain. We got us another plastic bag. Don't need that. Mystery spot. Check out the hub. We got three holes, a little hole in the middle, and the battle box logo there on the front with our chain. Hey man. What are you giving me a four hole hub and some chain for? Check it. Unfortunately, there's a lot of people out there that don't know how to tie knots very well, how to lash things together very well. I think you all should know how to do things like that, but sometimes people don't get it. So what this thing helps you do is if you want to build a tripod over your fire so that you can hang a pot or anything like that over your fire, this helps you do so. So what you do, so you find yourself three nice green sticks. You don't want dry sticks because they liable to burn up. Get you some green sticks. You can run your sticks through this hub, spread them out to form your tripod. No need to tie knots, no need to have cordage on you, anything like that, which you should know how to do those things and have cordage on you anyway, but you catch my drift. This is a nice, quick, easy, simple solution to make a tripod over a fire for cooking. 
and then you got your chain here. So you run that hook and chain down through the middle of your hub, and then you take this piece right yonder, go through your link, and that's how you can adjust your height of your pot or vessel you got hanging from this, be it a pot or be it a be it a uh, a cup or a bottle or anything like that. You can get creative with it and, and make this where you can hang like a, a grate over it if you want to or whatever. But anyway, the chain is so that you can adjust your height to adjust the heat that you're getting to your food or your water that you're boiling or whatever you're doing with it. It's a really cool item that's lightweight, it's small, pretty much flat when you have it inside this pouch right here that you can keep in your pack or keep in your bushcraft gear or anything like that. You can quickly and easily just find three sticks, three green sticks, make yourself a tripod to hang food or other items over the fire so you can heat them up and not burn them up. Yeehaw. So the second item in the box is from Roaring Fire. This is a really cool thing that you can use to help get organized. It's a really cool EDC pouch right here. So it's a Roaring Fire Ember Pouch. They call this the Ember Pouch. I love these things. I've got several of these that I use for tons of different, tons of different things. If you're into EDC, got you a warranty card right there. You got you a nice organization pouch, as you can see right here. Really cool pouch. Really, on that really nice size, you can pack a lot of stuff in this. It's kind of surprising how much stuff you can pack in this. So the Ember Pouch is a really cool and efficient way to organize your EDC gear. So you can put fire starting gear in here, personal electronics, tactical gear, whatever you want. You can put uh, repair kits in here, a uh, little cooking kit, like you could put your um, forks and little knives and seasoning and different things. I mean, you can put whatever the heck you want in this. You can just use this as an everyday pouch to keep in your pack um, for, for you know, everyday uses. Keep a little bit of first aid stuff in there. Keep some, some writing utensils in there. Keep a pad in there. Keep a battery bank in there. Keep an extra cable for your charger. Keep an extra set of headphones in case you lose your headphones or something. Tons and tons of uses right here. So it's made of a 1000D nylon fabric, high tensile strength webbing and binding tapes all throughout. It's got durable RC class YKK zippers. There's a pocket here on the outside for small items, you know, or quick access items that you may want to have in here so you don't have to unzip it. And then it's got four webbing straps so that you can load more gear, you know, in those straps. Here on the back, we've got straps as well so that you can, you can either put gear in there or of course you can mount this to any, you know, Molly system that you may be utilizing. The inside of the pouch is really nice. So it's got this very high contrast yellow in here they call it high contrast, low drag fabric. So this fabric in here is like really smooth. So when you're sliding things in and out, it doesn't, you know, things don't tend to want to dig in and grab to the material that's on the inside, which is really cool. If you've got something where the clip is on the inside or something that's kind of abrasive or something like that, it'll generally slide in and out very. <laughs> that moth just slid in and out of my mouth right there. That did not sound good. Maybe I'll edit that out. I don't know. Freaking bugs, man. Messing up my video. What I'm trying to say is, when you're putting stuff in and out of this here pouch, it's not going to dig in and grab to that inside fabric because it's low drag fabric. Yeehaw. <laughs> Freaking mall. And with it being a high contrast yellow, it's easier to see in the dark. You can identify what you're looking for a little bit easier in low light situations, which is really nice. Interior's got 18 elastic webbing spots. It's got three flat pockets and a removable double hook uh, chain tether here so you can use this for whatever. You can hook keys to it and you can do whatever you want to it. Hook something that you may have a lanyard on so you can quickly get it off, hook it to your belt loop if you want. And it just gives you a lot of storage for pretty much anything that you can think of in your everyday life. So it's a great, great thing to make any sort of kit out of. Everyday carry kit, first aid kit, fire starter kit, like I mentioned earlier or whatever. So like for instance, this is one that I keep. I got my, my um, computer bag here with me that I keep with my camera gear. So this, this is the one that I've had for a little bit and been using and I put all my cables in here. So I've got my USB-Cs, I got my mini USBs, I got HDMIs, I got freaking all, like, all, all the little freaking knick-knack cables and crap that inevitably I end up losing. I've got in here, 
I keep in my pack and I don't touch these things unless I absolutely can't find the ones that are supposedly supposed to be where they're at. So this is like my emergency cable system. If I need to download footage, if I need to charge something, I know I've got a cable in this pouch right here. So that's one, reason, one way that I use these pouches. Very durable, built very well, and from a great company, Roaring Fire. They got a lot of really cool stuff. Tool rolls, larger bags, you name it, they got it. That's the Ember pouch. On to numero three in the basic box. We've got the Bleed Stop 20G. So this stuff goes into your med kits, y'all. Great addition for your med kits. So this right here is granules to help stop serious bleeds in a serious emergency situation. For all minor cuts to severe bleeding wounds right here. So from the little things to the little paper cuts, slap up to, you got a heavy freaking, freaking shooting out of your arm, <laughs> freaking bleed, right? Which is bad, it's bad. Bad accidents happen. And a lot of us are not medical professionals, okay? So we need stuff in our kit for the bad stuff to, to help hold things down until the professionals get to us that can take care of our issues, right? So this bleed stop here is pretty amazing. FDA cleared safe for your wound. Great, because it's supposed to go on your wound to stop that rascal from bleeding. Made in the USA, and it says it absolutely works for people on blood thinners too. So this stuff will clot up a bad bleed. Capillary bleed, all that's yeah, bad, okay? Not good, bad. So it says here on the package, non-stinging, stinging, sterile, hypoallergenic, small, minor cuts to severe bleeding wounds, good for people who are on blood, blood thinners. It says it's used by first responders, used by hospitals, keep your family and your children safe, first aid necessity. You see here on the back, and it kind of gives you some instructions right here. You tear it open and you pour it into the wound and you apply pressure on it. And it says for best results, pack powder onto the wound generously apply pressure firmly and hold until bleeding stop. It's little granules, little granules in here. Very similar to the product that we show in the uh, Southern Survival episode on Netflix where he rescued DeVito out of the tree. <laughs> he had some pretty bad cuts and he was bleeding pretty bad. We poured granules in there to help stop his bleeding. Similar to that type of product in a smaller, more compact design right here. And this one here is is says it's good for people on blood thinners and I don't recall that one that we did on the TV show stating that. Pretty sure it didn't. So this is a new and improved version of that. Made in the USA, very good stuff. Fits in pretty much any freaking med kit that you have. If you don't have a med kit, where have you been? You need a med kit. You need multiple med kits. You need them spread out, vehicle, backpacks, camping gear in your home, in every, in every bedroom in your home, at least in your kitchen, needs to be accessible, readily available at all times. This is a great product to keep on hand in your med kits. So that is your third item in the basic box, the bleed stop. You need to stop the bleed. It ain't good when you bleed, especially if it's one of them. Nope, that's not good. Bust one of them right there, man, and it's Good. Fourth item in the basic box. These things right here are freaking sick. Absolutely sick. Now I'm interested to see what color is in mine. I got the yellow. I like the yellow. So this is the Night Eyes Loopable Twist Ties. You get two in this pack right here. This is one of those items that's like, the dog's, the dog's barking again. This is one of those items that you're like, ha, ha, ha. I can use that for this. Ooh, I got one of these. It, it'll work for this. This thing's right here. These things are great. All freaking sorts of uses. Reusable rubber twist tie. Organize with a twist. Yeah, loopable. It's 24 inches. You get two of them in here. They have some graphics here on the back, give you an idea what you can do with them. I mean, you can organize your water hoses. You can you know, use these for strapping stuff to your backpack. You can use them for strapping things down in, the, in a vehicle. You can use them to, heck, you can use them to help put up a tarp or um, a shelter system, organize, you know, larger road. Tons, tons of uses. But I tell you where well, I've used them recently, my son's truck, uh, water pump went out in it. I had to replace the water pump. And 
I used this to hold back AC line. He had the, the AC line I was having to take the fan, the fan shroud and the fan and all that out, the fan clutch and all that stuff out. And the, the daggone freaking AC line kept getting him away. Took this, ran it over the AC line, pulled it back, tied it off. It stayed over there, stayed out of my way. It was freaking great. I loved it. I also used it when I was uh, pulling uh, wire to my panel here in the shop uh, for my home runs. Um, I needed to hold back some wire. It was, you know, getting in the way, getting tangled up or whatever while I was trying to pull a long run. I took this, made a loop so that the wire went through it. It slid through it, no problem. It didn't fall down and get tangled up and crap down below. Absolute metric ton of uses for this. Freaking tie these things up, bind them up as much as you want, and they don't come loose. They do not freaking come loose. They're freaking amazing, and you can reuse them over and over and over and over again. You stretch it back out, you're good to go. So what makes these different from their other ones, their other ones just have a single end like this on, on both ends, which is fine, right? You put it around something and you, you twist it up just like you would like a, like a bread tie, right? So you can twist it up like that, it'll hold it. But what's cool about this one, being that it's got this loop on it, that's why they call it a loopable twist tie, is you can put put this around something. Say you got a you got a bedroll that you want to strap to the bottom of your uh, your pack. Let's say your cordage is messed up or whatever. Or let's say you freaking don't know how to tie knots worth of crap. Right? You get yourself your loopable twist tie. Put it around your bedroll. Run it through the loop, the hole right there. Pull it back on itself. Cinch it up. Boom. Bedroll is rolled up. You ain't got to worry about it going anywhere. It's freaking amazing. And then these, I don't know if you can see on the camera or not, but it's got kind of this texture on it here on the outside. Just enough texture and just enough grip where it, it holds a lot of stuff. It stays put. It doesn't slip. These things are great. So you get two of them for 24 inches a piece. It's one of them products, man, that it's like, crap, I need to do X. And you go, ah. I got one of them freaking loopable twist ties in my pack or in my truck or in my glove box or something. And these things will pack up small. You pack them up, boom, right there you got two 24 inch ties that you can use for virtually anything. Hang stuff up in camp to dry. Organize your gear. Freaking, freaking hang a freaking bicycle up on a freaking nail on a freaking wall if you want to with this. I mean, it's t tons of use. I keep some in my truck, in my decked uh, toolbox that's in, in the bed of my truck. I keep some in there, use them all the time. They have multiple products like this. They got lo super long ones. They've got all sorts of them. But this month, you're getting a two pack. You're either going to get a yellow, a black, or a package of orange is kind of a high-vis orange these things are freaking awesome and they're fun to do this with on camera looks like i got a bunch of them only got two anyway <laughs> it's funny how sometimes little things like this right here gets me excited but i'm a doer okay I, I do a lot of stuff i mean i'm wiring and completing my shop all by myself right i work on our vehicles i fix things uh, i build things i try to make things <laughs> Um, I'm a mechanical kind of guy. I mean, that's, that's, that's the way my brain is wired. So stuff like this gets me excited because I can think about all the times that I wish I had something that could hold something back that was quick and easy to do and I didn't have to worry about using a friggin' zip tie or tying a knot on something or finding some cordage to do it or, or whatever. Heck, I gotta replace, I gotta drop the transmission in my son's truck now and it went out. I gotta work, I'm sure I'll find a, a use for this when I'm laid up underneath his truck working on his transmission to hold something back. When it's something simple like this and it gets gets you excited about it, you know, you know it's it's a it's a great product. I'm telling you, this is a great product. So and if you don't think so, you're not a doer. Go out and do something. And I'm sure you'll find a use for that. <laughs> I promise you. I promise you. Oh yeah, and I forgot to I forgot to mention this. Pardon me. This is also a member recommended item from subscriber Charlie A from Wakefield, Michigan. Yeehaw. So thanks Charlie for bringing this product to our attention and uh, 
Thanks for recommending it, because I think they're freaking great. Yeehaw. So the advanced box this month, we got a knife, a knife, a blade, a sharp thing, and it's freaking awesome. We got the Tactica K100 pocket knife. This son of a gun right here is one of the smoothest little pocket knives I have ever used. Take a gander at it right there in the box right quick before I open it up. An amazing little EDC knife right here. They got great packaging, the knife don't want to come out. You ain't got to worry about the knife falling out of the freaking box. What the hen? Guess I'm gonna have to do it the old fashioned way. Oh yeah, pops out easier when I do that. Check this little rascal out right here. Now this right here is a true pocket knife right here. Goes in your pocket, it does not have a pocket clip. And I kind of dig that in some ways. Sometimes I don't want my, my knife showing. Some, sometimes I do, obviously. I mean, it's nice that you don't have to dig down in your pocket, but sometimes I don't want it. I don't want it showing. Uh, a clip showing through so this one does not have a pocket clip so it's a true pocket knife however the moth liked it moth come and checked it out take a look at it right here before i open it up show you how freaking sweet it is tactica is very well known for their really cool and innovative designs and this is no slouch in that department i can promise you that so this is their take on the classic all-rounder liner lock it's got very nice G10 scales right here. It's got great texture to it. It's not overbearing. It's very subtle, but it, it, it works very well. It feels great in the hand. So it's all black design, as you can see, with the exception of this kind of like a burnt bronze looking color uh, thumb stud right there that puts some really cool contrast in it. Very nice lanyard hole so that you can put a lanyard on it. It'd be easier to get it in and out of your pocket. You can reach in, grab your lanyard, lanyard pull your pocket knife out. Let's see how she opens. Ooh. Baby, that's smooth. Got a really nice ball bearing pivot, ambidextrous thumb studs, very smooth opening. We got a D2 reverse Tonto blade. Man, that's a sexy freaking knife right there. Perfect size, great pocket knife. That thing right there looks freaking sweet. So freaking sweet. I like it a lot. Again, liner lock, got a very nice lock right there. Opens very smooth. Nice. I like Tactica. They just got these very sleek. It's a very sleek looking design. All their designs are very sleek. It's nice and sleek. Like, dang man, that's sleek right there. Get away from me, bug. Don't judge me. It's sleek. She's sleek. I remember hearing some old timers, you know, they see what they consider a modern, modern sports car. Like, man, that right there is sleek. That's what they say about this knife right here. It's sleek. That's what I'm gonna say about this knife. It's freaking sleek. Might get me a t-shirt made that says it's sleek. Ooh, that's a good knife. And in the advanced box, heck yeah, man. That's freaking awesome right there. Did I miss anything? I put on the last sentence that it's sleek and smooth and can quickly become one of those fidgets, fidget with all day EDCs. And that's true right there. So I did very good putting that sentence in right there. The Tactica. K100, boom, so sleek, sleek and sexy. Now it's time for the Pro Box. Let's get into the Pro Box. In the Pro Box, we got the Bushnell Cellucor Cellular Trail Camera. Ye freaking haul. Cellular trail cameras have come a long way over the last few years. I've used, uh, used them for the last couple years pretty heavy, and man, they're freaking great. They're absolutely great. If you're not into hunting, uh, clearly the large majority of, of owners of these things are into, into hunting or wildlife, watching watching wildlife and things like that. So, you know, generally these are used to keep tabs on travel corridors, feeding sites, stuff like that for hunters. A lot of times deer hunters or, you know, elk hunters, you know, stuff like that. Um, the help pattern, pattern the game and figure them out or see what's out there or see what's not out there, you know, if you're into trophy hunting or anything like that. The first renditions of them a few years ago, man, they were very quirky, the freaking battery life sucked, you know, the connectivity sucked and all that. Now they're freaking great. You can get notifications, um, which if you're in a high traffic area, it's gonna bug the crap out of you because your phone's gonna beep every freaking two seconds every time something walks in front of it. Uh, sends notifications, 
Um, you don't have to go out into the woods and spread your scent around and make noise and everything to check your trail cameras. You can do it right there on your phone. You can do it in real time. They're freaking great. But outside of the hunting aspect, they're equally great. These are amazing for security cameras. Uh, you can set these things up very, very discreetly. Um, if you're smart about where you put them, you can hide them very, very well and people will never know they're there. So let's say you've got you know, private property you want to keep tabs on, you, you keep, be sure people aren't coming in and trespassing. Real time, you can get nice, clean, clear, very good photos straight to your phone on this, uh, real time, the whole nine. Uh, you can use these. You can set them up, you know, that set them up in front of your house somewhere. You know, you can you can see when packages are delivered to your home. You can see who's driving in and out of your driveway. You can see, you know, if you got a long driveway, you got a gate or something down there, and your freaking FedEx freaking delivery driver is too lazy to come through your gate and bring your packages to you like they're supposed to. You can know that your packages got left at your gate on top of your gate, in front of your gate, beside your gate, where the hinges are so that when the gate opens, because you don't know there's a package there, the gate opens and it ends up crushing the box that, the, that your package is in. You know, all the ridiculous stuff that uh, apparently FedEx delivery people don't have the common sense to know that this thing swings and it can crush if I put it here. Never mind, I'm starting to, starting to rant a little bit. Can you tell how much I enjoy my FedEx delivery people here where I live? They're, they're wonderful. <laughs> they're not, they're not. But this isn't about me bashing on FedEx. If you work for FedEx, I'm sure you're not that way. I hope you're not. <laughs> I'm having a little bit of fun here. Don't be so freaking serious. What I'm getting at is you can use this for all sorts of things, okay? Let's say you're going on a on a long excursion camping trip or something like that. Oh yeah, I need this to put this in here too. And you kind of want to set up a, a you know surveillance around your camp or whatever. And I hope somebody's coming in or out. You can set these things up and literally monitor any traffic coming in in and around your around your where you're camping, where you're bugging out, or you know stuff like that. It, it's great. You you got let's say you got equipment and stuff like that, and there's a rash of people going around stealing equipment or, or crap like that, you can set this up to monitor your equipment, see, you, see if anybody's screwing with your stuff. It's freaking amazing, it's great. They're wonderful for security, surveillance, and things like that, and like I said, if you're smart about where you put these things, they're not gonna have a freaking clue. You can hang them, you can put them up high, all sorts of things. They got um, inserts here so that you can, you can screw them in you know, to trees or to fence posts or stuff like that, and you don't even have to use your strap if you don't want to. Tons and tons and tons of uses. Let's take a quick look at it here. So as you see here, I got my antenna, antenna, screws right here on the top. Very, very easy to operate. You just link it to your phone. You've got your battery compartment right here. It takes one, two, three, four, five, six. So it takes 12 AA batteries. You got your uh, code right here to use to activate your, your account on here. It says here you get your first 30 days for free, which is a $15 value. Uh, this one here is AT&T. Simple on off switch, you run everything through your phone. But if you're thinking to yourself, man, I mean, that's great and all, but I don't wanna pay $15 a month, you know, to be able to use this. Well, you don't have to set it up as a sale thing. It's got a, it's got a memory card in it. You can just go to it and, and freaking check your memory card. So you don't have to set it up as you know a cellular device. It's great to do so. And you can, you can shut the monthly thing on and off. If you just wanna use this for hunting purposes, you, you can just do it for the few months that hunting season is in and then shut, shut it off until you're ready to use it again for cellular. So you don't have to use it as a cellular device. Let's check some of the stats here right here. So 20 megapixel uh, image quality, It'll do HD video. It's got 80 foot range in, uh, during the night. It's got a sub one second trigger speed, which is pretty good. So data plans can start at $10, so you can spend as little as $10 a month on it if you want to. Download the app. It works for Apple Store or Google Play. Two year limited warranty. Uh, they recommend you use lithium batteries, the Energizer brand lithium batteries, and a 32 gig card. 
So we're going to give you a 32 gig card to go with it. The card comes with it, okay? So some people are like, dang, I got to buy a freaking card. We're giving you a card to go with it, y'all. So you get a 32 gig card. So you get everything you need minus batteries. You just got to put some batteries in. Amazing. The things work freaking great. So again, if you're in an urban environment, freaking, you can, you can put it up you know, on your porch. Monitor your, you know, monitor your delivery person throwing your freaking battle box on your porch instead of setting it down on your porch. You know when your battle box gets delivered. <laughs> Somebody steals your crap sitting on your porch, you get a good shot of who did it. Driveways, camping surveillance, you know, perimeter surveillance. Tons, tons of uses outside of hunting, but they work freaking great for hunting. And even outside of hunting, what's fun to do with these things? If you're out in the woods or whatever, and you see like a log or something over a creek, or you see an area that's like a, a crossing where animals cross a lot, which typically if there's a log over a creek or over a, a small body of water, that's a high traffic area. Set this thing up where you can see that log, and you'll be amazed at some of the cool pictures you'll get of all these different types of animals, raccoons, possums, foxes, freaking, you'll, you'll be amazed at how much traffic goes across a freaking log if you enjoy watching nature. I, I love it. Like, that's one reason why I like hunting. I like just sitting there and watching everything. You know what I mean? Like, just sitting there and watching the squirrels or watching the raccoons or watching the armadillos we got around here or <laughs> possums or bobcats or whatever. So, really cool item. And remember, if you don't want to hook it up to sales service, you don't have to. It's got to have a card in it to work regardless but you can still go and retrieve your card to get your images. You don't have to get them you know, real time if you don't want to pay for the service. So no biggie, eho. So that is your pro box item right there. The freaking Bushnell Cellular Core Cellular Trail Cam. It's freaking great. I forgot again, I keep, so we just started putting this in here like last month, right? So every month we're doing a in the box, we're doing a member recommended item and we're doing a staff recommended item. Last month, we had a staff recommended item from Richard, RT, uh, our CFO. And then we've got the Tactica knife was recommended by Curtis Nemechek. So Curtis helps us with our, our marketing and stuff like that. Uh, really great guy, man, he's so freaking cool. And he is, uh, he's in Canada, he lives up in Canada, great guy. Uh, I've spent quite a, quite a lot of time with him um, at different trade shows that we've been to and things like that. Man, he's, he's an amazing guy and he loves that Tactica knife. That is an item that he recommended. I meant to put that in the advanced box section and I forgot to do so. So there you go, Curtis. Your name is in the video, along with Charlie. Pro Plus box time is Pro Plus box time. The last double digit Pro Plus box knife. The very last one. This is going to mark the 99th Pro Plus. You get what I'm telling you? We're fixing to get to 100, y'all. One more month, we're getting to 100. It's freaking pumped. Mission 99 right there. That stinking dog won't shut up. And I wonder why I wake up sometimes at night. I had to go get me a water. I wonder why I wake up sometimes at night listening to my dogs outside raising cane. It's because they're probably telling that one to shut up. My wife hates it when I do that. Goes all down water, she freaking hates it. She hates it. She hates it. I don't know if she watches my videos or not. So we'll wait and see if she comments on me doing that and telling y'all that she hates it. Then I'll know if she's watching my videos or not. It just gets enough of me on a daily basis. You don't want to watch me in a video. I love you, baby. <laughs> Pro Plus box time. All right. Now this knife right here means business. This knife's design is rooted in the Filipino knife arts, okay? Some of the most amazing knife fighting skills come out of the Philippines. And I don't know if I'm uh, gonna pronounce the name of this knife right, but it's a Survival Edge Garab, G-A-R-A-B. So we got a, a warning, you know, hey, don't cut yourself because you might need to use the granules that came in uh, the basic box. But this rascal right here is so freaking cool. Hey, baby. 
take a look at it down here in the she. The Wehongi. I guess that's how you pronounce that too. W I H O N G I. Wehongi. Tactical. I can't even speak freaking English properly or read it properly, so I'm sorry. We've got a nice Kydex sheath here. We've got our clip right there so you can clip it onto your belt. It's got a very generous turn back right there so it'll hook into your belt very nicely. Of course, you can take that off. You can add any other type of clips or whatever uh, that, you, that you want to to it, lash it, yada, 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 because of all the holes here. Let me go ahead and iterate this. Iterate, is that right? Let me tell you what you should not do. Don't grab this like this and pull this knife out. So many people do that and get freaking cut with Kydex sheaths. It's freaking crazy. The blade's gonna come out right there. And if your finger is right there, it's gonna chop it off or cut it off. It's not gonna be there anymore. You get what I'm saying? So don't do this or you'll be doing this, okay? Grab the knife sheath down here, take your thumb, put it right there, put pressure against your thumb, against the sheath, and it will pop it out. Ooh, ain't that sexy? Let's put it back. Let's try again, folks. Grab it like this. Put your hand on it like this. Put your thumb right there. Push the sheath away with your thumb while pulling the knife out. Ah, nice. No need for bleed stop, because you didn't chop your finger off. Cut your finger off. Slice your finger off. Wallop your finger off. You get what I'm saying? All right, back to the knife. I had to say that. You wouldn't believe the pictures I get, people doing that. Or, I mean, it happens. I'm trying to tell you, just so you know. Get some of the protective oil off of this thing. And look at that. That's sexy. Can you see that, Ralph? How's that look? Is it too shiny in the light? That is freaking nice. Let's take a look at it down here. We can see it. We can see it move better. So the Survival Edge Tactical was founded in 2006 by former full-time police trainer and SWAT operator, Jared Wahongi. That's his last name here on, on the sheath and on the knife. And if I'm saying your name wrong, I'm sorry. Don't cut me. Again, I don't speak English properly, okay? So I dang sure ain't gonna be able to read anything else and speak it properly, so I apologize. Mr. Uh, with hungry, with sir, Jared, Mr. Jared, that's what I call you, sir. I'm sorry if I pronounce your last name. People pronounce my last name wrong all the time, but they're not well versed in the Filipino uh, arts of hand-to-hand -hand combat when it comes, when, when blades are involved, so I'm sorry, sir. Beautiful knife. <laughs> So he founded that company in response to requests for its training services by local army special forces units. And since then, the company has grown to multiple facets of tactical training, consulting and professional services. So Jared travels the world training individuals and armed forces in edged weapons and hand-to-hand -hand combat skills. So his time in the Philippines, learning the Philippine or Filipino arts and in, in, in knife fighting helped with his design of, of this knife, right? I mean, this, this is kind of his, his perfect culmination of his years of experience, his time in the Philippines, and his Maori heritage uh, to, to design this knife right here. And boy, is it freaking nice. I mean, there's certain knives that when you, when you hold them, they, they feel like they're part of you. Like, it literally feels like an extension of your, of your hand, of your arm, of your body. You know, you, it's like, I guess it would be like what the Wolverine would feel like when his freaking blades shoot out of his freaking hand right there. I mean, he's one with those. You feel like that with this knife. No matter how you hold it, it it's just, it's there, it's great, it feels good, it feels balanced. So what this knife features is a five and a half D2 steel blade, and it comes in at 10 inches overall. And as you can see, it's full tang all the way back. So the handle, the scales here, are made of pocket wood. It's got a stainless steel bolster and all this is kept in place with very beautiful mosaic pins right here as you can see. And then here, of course, you see the lanyard hole so that you can use your lanyard of choice um, if you're into using lanyards. So, but God almighty, man, that's a freaking cool knife. It's just a cool knife to look at, like just set it up and display it, you know? <laughs> but uh, 
wow. Like the angle of it's really cool. It feels great in the hand. It's thick. I mean, it, it just this thing will will do work. It feels like it will just do some amazing work. Designed with purpose by a dude that's in the game that understands the Filipino fighting arts, that trains, that teaches, that instructs, whatever you want to call it. The cat has made his own blade, his own brand, and it's freaking beautiful. Really cool Pro Plus item this month. The Survival Edge Garab from Jared Wahangi. Wahangi. I hope I'm saying that right. Wahangi, Wahangi. Great job, dude. So that's Mission 99 of Battle Box, folks. Really cool box this month. Very well rounded. And we've got a freaking sick self defense blade right there from, from a master in, in the hand to hand combat arts when it comes to blades and everything, man. Freaking awesome. So let's do a quick recap of the box. So first up, we had the Battle Box tripod right here, uh, camping tripod. Quick, easy way for you to set up a tripod so that you can hang food, hang containers, things like that over the fire. Um, and then you can raise and lower, lower that very easily with the chain to adjust your heat level. Really cool item right there, small, compact, lightweight. Put it in your pack, put it with your bushcraft gear if you like to go out and bushcraft and stuff like that. And then we've got Roaring Fire Ember Pouch right here. Really great EDC pouch right here for tons of uses. Absolute tons of uses, fire kits, med kits, everyday carry kit, whatever. You go to Blade Show, you can put all your cool knives in there and you got a nice small compact thing where you can show off your knives, you know, down in the pit at Blade Show, stuff like that. <laughs> if you've been to Blade Show, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, but awesome, great build, very great, uh, very good materials. Really love the high-vis interior in there. Uh, excellent EDC pouch right there, freaking awesome. And then we got the bleed stop right here, granules to help with severe bleeding. Capillary bleeds are bad. I'm sure all of us can agree with that. And I'm sure all of us can agree that not all of us have the training to deal with certain uh, bleeds like that, right? So we got to get to medical professionals as quickly as possible. This right here will help clot that area up, pour that stuff on there liberally, get you a pressure bandage on there, and it'll help clot that up, coagulate all that mess up to help stop the bleed, okay, until you can get to medical professionals. This is not a fix it product, this is a control it product, okay? Just cause you put that stuff on there don't mean you're good to go. You need to, you need to get to medical professionals, right? So, got that right there to add to your med kits. And then we've got the member recommended item right here from Charlie, the gear tie, the loopable gear ties from Night Eyes. These things are freaking awesome, I'm telling you, you will find so many uses for this stuff. It's absolutely ridic ridiculous. Freaking, you know, keep, keeping tarps freaking held together and, and, and nice and clean and neat order for being put away. Holding back freaking hoses in the engine bay when you're working on your vehicles. Tons and tons and tons of uses, okay? You might get a yellow, you might get black, or you might get orange. I got yellows. Freaking awesome. Absolutely awesome. Thanks, Charlie, for the recommendation. And then we've got the Tactica K100. This was a staff recommended item from Curtis. Freaking great knife. Smooth opening, true pocket knife, goes down in your pocket, generous lanyard hole, reverse tanto uh, blade right there. Freaking all black except for the thumb stud, which gives it a really nice contrast. It's a very sleek and sexy knife. Thanks, Curtis, for the recommendation there of the Tactica K100. That's a freaking sweet blade right there. And then we got the Bushnell Cellucor, cellular trail cam right there. It's kind of hard for me to say that back to back. Cellucor, cellular trail cam. <laughs> cellular trail cams are absolutely awesome, okay? Especially nowadays, because they've got the technology figured out and they work great. When it comes to hunting, they're freaking awesome. When it comes to surveillance and security, they're freaking awesome. 20 megapixel image, which is freaking great. A uh, great uh, image in the dark. We give you the 32 gig card to go with it. All you gotta do is add batteries and you're good to go. You can use it standalone um, without being hooked to cell service or you can hook it to, sell, to the cell service for, I think you get your first month for free, but then I think it's like 10 to $15 a month. 
I think the difference is it'll be unlimited pictures versus X amount of pictures, you know, whatever. But you can turn that on and off at any time. You, you know, if you just want to use it during hunting season, you can just have it activated during hunting season. But again, if you don't want to do that, all you got to do is go out to it, pull your card, and check your card. Okay, so excellent, excellent trail camera. Great build, good quality, easy to use. You basically can you know, control it and, and program it and everything through your phone. Um, it's awesome. It's absolutely awesome. And then we got Jared's awesome Survival Edge Garab right here. And I'm sorry, man, if I screwed up your last name. I'm not even going to try to say it anymore. <laughs> but great freaking design knife. Awesome knife. Beautiful knife. Got the mosaic pins in there, which really set it off. It gives it that, only that culture to it that is really cool. This really cool flash to it that really makes it stand out. Great scales. Great freaking design. Sharp. And I'm sure it performs for the purpose that it's built, and that's for self-protection um, and self-defense. So that is the Mission 99 Pro Plus box right there. And it has been a wild ride through these 99 months, and I'm looking forward to jumping into Mission 100 next month. I'm sure you guys are looking forward to it as well. So here's the thing. What I need you guys to do, you got, you got to do this, because if you want to, if, if, if you, if you want to get a smell of what we got coming in Mission 100, you're going to want to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. And here's why. In a few days here, in a couple days, a few days, somewhere in there, a couple days to a few days, but here real soon, there's going to be a video posted that you're going to want to see. I'm just saying, you're going to want to see it. And if you hit that subscribe and notification bell, you'll get a notification when that video drops. So if you want to know more about BattleBox, you can go to BattleBox.com, B-A-T-T-L-B-O-X.com. Go to the What's in the Box page. You can see every single mission from Mission 99 all the way down to Mission 1. And you can kind of get an idea of how things go. Watch all the videos. You can see all the products, the whole nine, right? And then you can go on back to the uh, subscribe page and become a member along with everybody else that enjoys Battle Box every month. So if you will, leave your comments down below, like, share with your friends, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. If you haven't hit the notification button, you wanna do that, cause the videos is gonna drop in the next couple days, or a few days, somewhere in there. You're gonna wanna see that video, I promise you. I absolutely promise you. And next month, I will see you guys through the lens with Mission 100. And oh, Lord have mercy. Is it ever going to be epic? Love you guys. I mean it. See y'all next month. Or see y'all in a few days if you hit the notification bell. Bye. Out very. <laughs> Freaking moth almost slid in and out. Yeah, you freaking mall.